Dark Souls 3 is the true test of a person's mental fortitude, determination, will, and is a device used by therapists to test people for ADD and ADHD. Dark Souls 3 does not hold your hand and does not baby you through the game. In fact, the only thing it does is not give a fuck about your feelings. Mostly everyone knows that Dark Souls games are hard, and I knew that going into it, but this is a whole new level of hard. Stop the bullshit! Stop this shit, bro! Oh my fucking god! Fuck! As all my subscribers know, I don't post very often, and when I do, it's usually pretty piss poor quality. But not this time. This time I'm putting my blood, sweat, and milk into YouTube. We're going all in! This project is a big push forward to make high quality content at a much higher rate. And to start that off, we're playing Dark Souls, baby! I have no past experience playing any type of Souls game, and I won't be reading any guides or watching any absolute basics videos. I have almost no clue on how to play the game, and will opt for the Charles Darwin method of learning how to play. Respect it! Learn from it! This is how you should play video games! Everyone's watching videos and learning how to play before they even start! This is bullshit! Video games are meant to be played as it is! You don't watch fucking... PewDiePie and Jacksepticeye and all these people teach you how to play the fucking video game. The fun part is learning how to get good at it. I don't fucking understand. I'm, I'm a victim of it too. I do it all the time. I, I, I do all these research before I play a video game. I want to know exactly what it's like. That takes all the fun out of it. I want to learn. I want to do this shit on my own. Dark Souls is, is perfect for that. This shit is so hard. It's, it's beautiful. Now, I'll be making several videos about my adventures, experiences, and thoughts on the game as I play through it, with the final goal being that I'll be able to review the game in its entirety as it was meant to be played. I'll also be streaming it on YouTube. If you're interested in watching the stream, make sure you subscribe so you can get notified when I'm live. Or join the Discord. Just kidding, you don't got a choice! Now, one of my first things I noticed about this game is that it's got loud as fuck intro syndrome. Most of my favorite games have this problem. You know it's good when the developer wants everyone in your house knowing what you're playing. You remember waking up on Saturday morning to play some games, but the last person to use the TV left it at max volume for some reason, so everyone in the house just hears this? I don't know if you guys remember Moto Mayhem or if you even remember playing it, but it was a PS2 game that had this introduction that absolutely, like, just fucking taser to the ears. I can't believe it. Fucking holy fucking shit! What the fuck? Okay, so I just did a little research and Beyond Games turned into Wild Works and they came out with Animal Jam, which is more popular than Adventure Quest with 50 million registered view like players. That's insane to me. That's fucking absurd. That is... Okay, moving on. This... Okay. Holy fuck, their terms and conditions are long as shit. Fuck. And fuck was right. This was only the beginning of a long and painful journey, which includes the character customization. From Software is absolutely trying their hardest to keep you from making a character that even somewhat resembles life on planet Earth. Dear God, these presets are fucking... Base presets, build, jacked. At first I wanted to make the biggest, thickest boy I could possibly make, but I changed my mind and thought, hey, wanna know who hasn't suffered enough? My Night Elf from World of Warcraft. Oh ho ho. We're gonna go with my fucking Night Elf that I made in WoW. Amazing. She looks beautiful. Start the game with this character absolutely. In the cinematic intro, we find out that our character has been revived from the afterlife. So our night elf was actually an undead. And right off the bat, I'm stabbed several times by a fellow undead. Ooh, immediately the camera feels so weird. Regular attack, right bumper, okay. Strong attack, right trigger. Target lock, right stick. Okay. What's up, bitch? Okay. Well, yep. 
Don't tell me how to roll. Isn't it double A? Is it X? Nope. F All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't know critical. Oh, I don't think that was right. Controls are gonna kind of fuck me up. Not gonna lie. Parry. LT to parry. Okay, I don't know if I did that right, not gonna lie. Two hand right weapon wall. Oh my god, this is insane. Wall two handing you. Okay, I get it. Jump. A falling plunge attack. This is a lot to fucking do. Uh. What? Yeah! It's fine. You're just really throwing it. Get oh, fuck. The tutorial has essentially showed me how to heal, how to attack, and how to roll. They don't lube you up before tossing you to the wolves. They want you to learn this game the hard way. Of course they wouldn't tell you about heavy rolling, you should figure that out for yourself six hours in. Boss fight time? Throw you right into it, huh? I just felt the need to do this? Well, that actually worked. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like. Is it X? Yep. Oh. Holy fuck, that's fucking terrifying. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Faster, run faster, bro, run faster, bro. The default volume levels for this game are set so egregiously high that it feels like I was fighting a boss and future tinnitus. I seriously have no idea why the volume is so high during this part. I, it was genuinely hurting my ears. Let me go, go. Damn! Get up. that coming. Let's go. Okay. First boss, done. Easy shit. Got new weapon. Fuck y'all. After defeating the first boss, I make my way up the hill to the main hub of the game, which I initially mistook as another boss room, which just didn't make any fucking sense to me. Visions of hope. But there was no threat in this place. I had actually just found the one thing in this game that didn't make me want to scratch my eyeballs from their sockets. She's beautiful. And I still don't know her name. Pretty Lady tells me the story of the game, which summed up is basically bring the lords to their chairs or something, I don't know. She also tells me I can level up using souls, which my brain almost entirely throws out the window because just beforehand she tells me to touch the darkness within her. And also, there was way too much going on on the screen for me to understand what I was doing. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Oh, oh. Take nourishment Absolutely. Sovereignless souls.
Holy fuck. And then you're free to go. But free to go where? The game does not tell you what you must do or where to go. There's no mini map, there's no regular map, there's no directional arrow, there's no glimmering of light in the air pointing to where you should go. So, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> This stuff tastes horrible. You wanna hit this? It's got a little lean in it. I'm serious. This shit will get you up for cheap. Let's go! All right! What do I do now? Okay. We're getting this shit started now. So should we make a death counter? I'm gonna make a death counter. Every time I die, I'll mark it down. Dragon. Yeah, bro, there's a dragon there. That's badass. Fucks with dragons. Now, one thing I knew about Dark Souls 3 was that it had a multiplayer, but I only thought that was through PvP. I was pleasantly surprised to find out there was a co-op feature, and by complete accident, I'd begun summoning someone. Based off the few Dark Souls videos I watched, I assumed that meant I was requesting a duel from someone. I was totally prepared to get my shit kicked in by someone who placed their duel summons at the first area so they could grief new players that didn't know what was going on. Yo! Wooper was actually here to help. Hi! Are you gonna try to kill me, bro? I don't know Wooper's skill level, but it was nice knowing that someone was gonna be watching my back and kinda showing me the ropes. We couldn't communicate, but I'm sure he knew I was a first time player. Damn! A bond forged through fire and combat, only to be dismantled by my own stupidity. Like suicide, wrist rags, I could exercise you. This could be your phys ed. Cheat on your man, homie. Ah, I tried to push through the door, man. Can't make it. Can't make it. The shit sucks. Out of my way, guys. Door stuck. Door stuck. Please. Oh, no. <laughs> I just got fucking. Man. Man. No, bro. I fucking died. That sucks. At this part of the game, I run into the first enemy who doesn't die within two or three hits. It actually requires some fucking brainage. Fighting the other enemies in this game is like fighting children. Easy to beat up, morally a gray area, and occasionally they get a hit on you because they're unpredictable. Oh, he fucking hit me with that, bro. His attacks are stupid. The thing about this game isn't that the enemies are hard, it's that there's a steep learning curve, and there isn't anyone to hold your hand. You learn through trial and error, which is one of the most rewarding and grueling aspects of these types of games. This knight is a hill amongst mountains, and you can tell when he walks through these doors like he is about to belt your shit. Oh, okay! Okay, bro, okay! Okay! Oh my god, bro! Oh! Bro, 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 trick, 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 trick. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fucking hell, bro. Leave me the fuck alone. No! Fuck! God damn it. My Dark Souls combat is bad. Oh! Is that how that was supposed to go? It's supposed to scare you? That's fucked up. Holy fuck. Just run through it. 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 Just run through it, bro. Just run through it. Estus, 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 bro. Estus, don't die. Don't die. Fuck! God fucking damn it. Holy fucking Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Get the fuck away from me, bro. Get the. Oh! Ugh! There's a new one of you fucks. Oh, you're fucking dead, bro. You're fucking dead. Eat shit and die. Oh my god, bro. They faked me out so hard. They faked me out so hard. Well, there's nothing to drink. You're out of water, bro. Hit 
Hit this bitch. Hit this bitch. Die. Okay. 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 Now we're talking. What? Oh, okay. I don't like that. <sighs> fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yes. I'm I'm a fucking king. We're going to be a bonfire soon. Oh. Thank God. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Um going to here. Inventory. Fire bombs. Can I use those? Ay, cabrón, no mames. Váyanse a la verga. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I was planning on putting so much more stuff in here, but I just couldn't fit it all in. Um, I recorded all of my Dark Souls video around two years ago and then completely stopped editing for like two years. So here we are. I decided to finally start working on it again. And now we have a finished product. Well, soon. There's still a lot of things I want to do with it. Um, I have 10 whole hours of video that isn't or there's nine hours of video not in this one that I wanted to include. It felt like such a mountain of work that I wanted to get done that it was just, I never wanted to do it. It felt like such a huge, ginormous task that I told everyone that I was going to do that I just never felt the motivation to do it because it felt like I was just using a little shovel like this big to dig away at a mountain. And I'm just not ready for something like that. So here we are. We got this out and I'm I hope it's good I really do hope it's good and I just I don't know here we go that's it I guess